what's up? I know I haven't filmed a video in quite a while, it seems like. It seems like forever. But yeah, so I just wanted to film this video because I pretty much have... This is the only day I get to like pretty much film this video. Nobody's home right now, so... I feel more comfortable when nobody's around. I can be more myself, you know what I mean? So anyways, I wanted to do a like current favorites type of video because I haven't done one of these in a, bleh, quite a while. Um, I don't know how long it's been since I haven't done a monthly video. Monthly, like, I don't know, current favorite video. So, I'm just going to jump right into it. These are just some of the things I've been really, 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 really loving. And yeah, let's just get straight to it. So, I have some beauty products, some makeup products, and you know the rest, like music and all that jazz. So... Let's just go straight to it. So, some of the makeup items I've been loving are a few palettes. So, I have been loving the um, Naked Urban Decay Basics palette. This is like my everyday go-to palette. Um, I use pretty much like mostly every color in here. So, I use the... Um, I use pretty much all these colors. So, I use the black to set my eyeliner and to smudge it out a little bit. Um, I used, um, what is it? it's called Crave. I use Faint, which is like the brownish color in here. I use it to um, do the crease, like a, a smoke out the crease, and then I use it on my eyebrows as well because uh, my Anastasia dip brow is a little too dark for me. I should have got the lightest one, but the girl, like, color, you know, coated me, color coated me, color, you know, she gave me the wrong color, so. It's a little too dark for me, so I use this one for my eyebrows. And then the other colors I just use to put on my inner corners, like Venus, I use to put in the inner corners of my eyes. Um, I just love this palette. It's really easy to like put in my, like uh, when I travel or when I go somewhere, to just stick it in my purse, stick it in my like makeup bag, and we're good to go. I pretty much have all the colors I need. So yeah, this is pretty much an awesome palette. And it's like little and compact, so it has a mirror. Oh, yeah. So another palette I have been loving is the Park Avenue Princess palette from Tarte. I love Tarte. You know how me. I love freaking love Tarte. So this one has, uh, it looks like this. Um, it has the highlighter, the blush, and the bronzer. I've been using the bronzer from here, and also I have one that's just, um, you know, separate. So I've been using this a lot, a lot, a lot. It is, you know, the Park Avenue Princess bronzer. So I think I got this in my Ipsy uh, bag, if I'm not mistaken. So I've been using this so much. I love it. Contour my cheeks and a lot of jobs. So I've been using this palette for pretty much everyday use. Um, I don't use the highlight that much because I'm still trying to work into the highlighting uh, deal. But the next palette is totally not up my alley but I decided to you know get it and I had a 20% off coupon for Sephora so I was like you know what you might as well get it everybody has, has been raving about this palette the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and it has three beautiful shades for highlighting it looks like this and with this palette you need the tiniest amount to do highlighting at least for me I'm not quite used to highlighting but I am highlighted today check out the highlight yeah the highlight though um, so yeah I've been using this palette and I love it it's really super pigmented and for right now I'm in the highlighting phase kinda I'm still working my way to the highlighting phase uh, so yeah I've been loving it loving 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 it so that's pretty much all the makeup so another thing I've been loving is the Coralista blush from Benefit I hit pan so bad seriously I love this blush I should have got one uh, when I had the 20% off at Sephora but I didn't I got the other palette instead you know yeah so anyways love this blush it's my everyday blush it gives me a highlight and it gives me a rosy glow and I love that and I just I just love it it's really pretty and it smells good so yeah benefit if you're watching hook a sister up with some more curly stuff I'm just saying seriously love this blush love 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 this blush and a lipstick I am loving is um, the YSL lipsticks that I got from influencer and I've been loving the color the color number nine I don't remember what the name it is but it's a pretty everyday color it's gorgeous I love it and I wear this pretty much every day and it glides on so smooth like butter it's, it's freaking amazing. I love these lipsticks. I love this one and I love the other one as well. But I haven't worn, been wearing this one as much because it is a bright fuchsia color. But they're both so nice to apply on the lips. Like they glide on like butter and it's freaking amazing. Seriously. Alright, so the next products are is this uh, Garnier Micellar Water. I got this off of a website. I forgot what the website was called. But it comes. this one came all the way from the UK because you can't get this in the States for some reason. Why? Like why? 
Um, but the other one is kind of similar to it. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Is the simpler, simpler, is the simple cleaning my cellar water. I'm pretty much done with this one, so I'm working on this one. But I use this pretty much the same way. I kind of use it as a kind of like a toner when I wash my face. I just rub this with a cotton swab all over my face and it picks up all the makeup I didn't take off with my cleanser. So that's freaking amazing and it takes off makeup as well so if you're in a rush sometimes I forget to take off my makeup and I kind of take a nap and I'm like still wearing my makeup I just wake up and like use a little cotton swab and just take off my makeup go back to bed so yeah I've been using that and the next thing I've been using is the Origins uh, Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask love this mask um, I haven't used it as much as I should be using it because sometimes my skin is like breaking out all over the place and I need some Help in that department so I've been using this and yeah it's just a charcoal mask I've been loving it it leaves my skin super smooth and just been loving it another thing I've been using is the poor care pack from uh, Daiso so I, if you saw me in my haul video I raved about these these are freaking amazing I know I'm taking freaking like a long a, a lot in this video but I, I freaking love these um, these are like the cheaper version of the Biore charcoal strips that they just came out with so but in my opinion these work way better like this takes off everything like I stare at that little strip after I'm finished with it like after I like take it off my nose I look at it and I'm like amazed at how much um, came off my nose like that's disgusting I know but it's the little things that like I'm intrigued about so yeah I love these and they're only $1.50 at your Daiso so if you're close to Daiso you should pick some of these up I always get like a couple every time I go in there it's not often I go in there but every time I go in there I get some of these so. yeah and another thing I have been loving 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 is this conditioner by Pantene I love this stuff like this is amazing it gives like that tingly minty feeling when you put it on your scalp and I I just for one like that kind of sensation on my scalp I don't know it's kind of like the wind cleanser kind of kind of but way cheaper so yeah I've been using this instead of the Aussie 3 minute miracle and it leaves my hair smooth it leaves my hair smelling like minty fresh and I love it so yeah I'm, I'm stocked up on these uh, for life pretty much well not really but um, yeah, so I have a lot of these in my pantry thingy covered in my restroom because I love it that much. I haven't bought the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle in quite a minute, so it tells you a lot because that 3 Minute Miracle was my holy grail conditioner and this is taking the place of it. So love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. So that's pretty much all the beauty related stuff I have been loving. Um, I guess the next things are my music favorites, my music favorites, you know. Alright, so some of you guys might not be believers. I wasn't a believer at first, but I love Justin Bieber's new album like I listened to it on Shazam not Shazam Spotify his whole CD is on Spotify so if you haven't bought the CD don't fret it's on Spotify it's on Spotify it's on yeah Spotify so you can hit listen to the deluxe version and that's what I've been listening to and I love his whole album well yeah kind of his old album I love a few songs on there so I love sorry if you haven't heard it I don't know where you've been but it's something like this That I, I kind of like that beat where it's like, da -da 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 -da, da -da 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 -da, you know what I'm talking about? That that beat, I don't know, I just love that that part of the song. I love the whole song, but that part, it just gets me, yeah. So, another no song, and I think this is pretty much the only song I've been loving and listening to all day on repeat, it's called Love Myself by Haley Steinfeld. If you haven't heard it before, I don't know where you've been, like it's on the radio all the time. It's all like this. <laughs> that um so yeah that's pretty much all the music I've been loving I pretty I know there's some other songs but it's like a list an endless list on my what is this uh, Shazam thing so yeah um some other things I've been loving uh, I recently got on the how to get away with murder like kick like seriously I've I watched the whole season I binge watched it on Netflix um, Love all the actors on there. I'm so intrigued. I can't wait for season 2 to come out on Netflix so I can catch up on it. And I saw a little preview to it about last Sunday, or not last Sunday, but the last episode, the winter finale. Like, whoa, Annalise, 
who shot Annalise. I don't know yet, so don't spoil it for me. Oh, and another, uh, what you call it, show I've been watching. I recently got on the bandwagon of Gilmore Girls. I've never watched it. I think I watched only like one or two episodes, but I never really watched all the seasons. And I just got back on there and I'm watching it on Netflix. So those are the shows I've currently been watching. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, so if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and leave me a lovely comment down below. And that's pretty much it, guys. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.